Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 4th, 2023, from Philippians chapter 3, verse 15. Let those of us who are mature think this way, and if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. So, how strong is your sinful nature? For those who are mature in the Christian faith, like Paul, we realize the constant struggle against our own sinful flesh. But not everyone realizes it nor understands this struggle. So Paul notes that God will reveal that also to us. You see, temptation comes in many forms. And we may not realize all the forms that it takes upon our lives. With God, there is forgiveness. But as Paul is noting here, there is a constant struggle. We may suffer loss. And Paul is trying to prepare us as Christians for those struggles. So in the midst of these struggles, Paul gives some instructions for the Christians in the next verse. Verse 16, only let us hold true to what we have attained. So what have we received? We've been found by Christ. So Paul is basically saying, hold on to Jesus Christ, for it's always all about Jesus. We have been baptized into Christ Jesus. We have received the gift of faith. Nothing else should really be more important. So in the midst of our daily struggles with our sinful flesh, we need to remember our baptism. Remember what Christ Jesus has done for us and has given to us. That is the forgiveness of sins. Verse 17, brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. Yes, there is something about the company you keep. Paul is encouraging us to look at the examples of other mature Christians. What do they do? What don't they do? No one is perfect except for our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, but we can learn a lot from our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, especially the ones who have gone through the trials, so to speak, have gone through great temptations, understand the constant struggle of their sinful nature. These are the mature ones, ones who are not distracted by the things of this world, but keep their focus upon Jesus Christ. Verse 18, for many of whom I have often told you and now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their belly. And they glory in their shame with minds set on earthly things. Paul here is reminding us to steer away from those who are enemies of the cross of Jesus. But here's the problem. These enemies may also be in the church. Not that we're going to go on a witch hunt per se, but we can see the example that they are setting. Are they focused on the forgiveness of sins that comes from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ? If not, then Paul tells us they are enemies of the cross. They are focused on earthly things like leading a good and perfect life. Whereas Paul just finished reminding us about our daily struggles that as Christians we face with our own sinful nature. So when I see my struggles, when I see my sin. I realize my need for the forgiveness of sins that comes from my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. But, but if my life was perfect, which it isn't, 
then I don't need a savior who forgives me my sins. And this is the key between the enemies of the cross versus the one who is looking at the cross for the forgiveness of sins each and every day. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.